The ruling Conservative group on South Ayrshire Council wanted to fly the Union flag alongside the saltire above the county buildings in air throughout November next year. But when they put the idea to the vote, one R8 SNP councillor described the tribute as an ill thought out concept that is inappropriate for contemporary times. Laura Brennan Whitefield accused the Tories of playing political games and her colleague Peter Henderson claimed the move would risk breaking all protocol. Her amendment calling for the council to conform to UK and Scottish government flag flying protocol was passed by 13 votes to 10 thanks to the SNP and Labour. Getty South Ayrshire Council's ruling Conservative group wanted to fly the Union flag to honour war heroes. Gitty's proposal was rejected by SNP and Labour councillors, who voted 13 to 10 against the plan. Call me cynical, but I hope this is not in response to my motion for the LGBTI flag. Laura Brennan Whitefield. It came just weeks after Miss Brennan Whitefield had. Her own motion approved for the LGBTI lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersexual rainbow flag to fly above the county buildings in February. She said, call me cynical, but I hope this is not in response to my motion for the LGBTI flag. Labour councillor Ian Kavanagh described the debate as an utter embarrassment, although that did not prevent him and his party colleagues from voting down the tribute. He fumed, never has the Phrase lions led by donkeys been more apt than to describe what I've just witnessed. Getty South Ayrshire Council passed a motion in October to fly the rainbow flag in February. These people save lives and the world itself. And here we are arguing about what goes up a pole. As a result of the vote, the council will only fly the Union flag alongside the Saltar on Remembrance Sunday itself. Yesterday, Conservative group leader. Martin Dowie, who brought the motion, said they were very disappointed. He said, we never intended to make any sort of political point. We simply thought it would be a fitting gesture. It would not have broken any protocols as local authorities are able to decide what flags are flown from their own buildings. Ron Merrilies of the Airs Legion Scotland branch said, I am very disappointed. I just can't understand why. This has even become an issue and I think most veterans would agree.